Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison and if not, welcome back. I have such an exciting room tour for you guys today. We managed to book the Grand Floridian Resort Studios when they were released back in June. We're staying here for four nights and I'm gonna give you guys a tour. We just got our room number, so it is 9432 in Big Pine Key, which is where all of the resort studio buildings are, or sorry, all of the resort studio rooms. And we've just come up, and being on the fourth floor, this room is so cool. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a whole tour. I hope you like it. Let's go. Okay, so as I said, our room is 9432. And when you walk inside, you will see that being on the fourth floor, we have these giant, ceilings here so I'm just gonna come in and show you the main room first we have this huge um, triangular ceiling there's a name for that and I can't remember what it's called pitched ceiling there we go with this huge pitched ceiling above the main room and the cool thing about this studio is that unlike most DVC studios besides old Key West we have two queen beds instead of a queen bed and a pull-out couch and additionally we do have a sleeper sofa so that will pull into a single twin sleeper sofa there if you wanted to we won't be needing that today um, but that's handy you can sleep five people if you wanted so immediately upon coming in I noticed the artwork in here is amazing so much of the theming is Mary Poppins themed and then we have a standard view so I'll just take you out onto the deck and then let's see show you the rest of the room when we come back in so again we have these pitched roofs here which you can see from outside the building but we have a standard view we've got two chairs they're a little bit higher than normal deck chairs and we've got a little um, table as well to pop things on while you're out here and then you can just about see the Seven Seas Lagoon and Tron construction way out in the distance. And then if I just pan around, you can see lots of the other buildings and the quiet pool as well. So I'm gonna take you back in now. The outside is so nice if you just look up at the ceiling again. I'm obsessed with this pitched roof. I screamed when I walked in here. Coming back inside, we've got our two queen beds and nicely by each queen bed, we have a USB and electrical socket as well as a charging ledge or shelf. So it's not a full nightstand, but you can pop your phones or your other electronics onto there. And then down in the corner, we have another double electrical socket. This one doesn't have any of the USB ports on it, but that's all right because we've got the other ones here. Above the bed, you've got reading lights on both sides, so you pull those out and they turn on automatically. I'm obsessed with these headboards. They're so nice, I love the material and I love the decor. So, turning around, here's a full pan of the room. And you can see the table that goes beside the sleeper sofa. I will say as well, I'll just get down here, there is so much space under these beds, which is really handy because we have a ridiculous amount of luggage and we'll be popping it all under there um, when it gets here. So we have got our um, table and our drawers, our dresser unit. This thing is actually really big. It's a lot longer than you might think. And it's got two sets of drawers on both sides. They're quite deep. And then you also have a little sitting vanity area, although there is no mirror. And under this little um, vanity chair, you've got your recycling and your bin. Um, you do have a little box here and inside the box, if you just pop it open, is your hair dryer. Kind of an odd place for it. Um, but not the end of the world. Storage is storage. So turning back around to between the two beds, I'll show you on top this, um, the detail in this chandelier is incredible. You have all these tiny doves. I really, really love that. And I like the gold accents as well. But turning back around, you've got again, a nicely themed um, Mary Poppins lampshade and then you have your nightstand in the middle of the two beds. So these ones are also really deep. I'll just pull that open to show you. Um, and of course, you've got your Bible in there because it wouldn't be the USA without that. So you've got your remote um, all sanitized and your room phone, as well as the light switches for the lamps and for the chandelier. Then just on the other side of the queen beds, again, look at this awesome artwork, more Mary Poppins themed artwork, but you've got your um, charging shelf as well as your outlets and your USB cords 
And again, you've got your bedside lamp and you've got your reading lamp just in there. So now turning around to the kitchenette, it's not as big as a normal DVC kitchenette because these were hotel rooms originally, but you have your microwave, you have your Keurig K-cup coffee makers, and I think these ones are, oh, they are full size. I thought they were the flat pods, but they're actually the full size pods. So I'll pop that back down, but that's a single or a double coffee maker. You've got your mugs, you've got your cups, and then ice bucket as well in here. And just underneath, we've got a drawer with all of your coffee making needs. So there's some green tea, there's some herbal tea, there is your 50th anniversary breakfast coffee K-cups, and then sweet and low sugar, stirring spoons, all your extra bits and bobs. Again, none of this is ceramic, it's all the styrofoam, and you have a wine opener. And then underneath, we've got our mini fridge. This is smaller than a standard DVC mini fridge, um, so you really can't actually fit that much in it. Depending on how you tend to travel, this will either be a problem or not, but we aren't gonna have too much of an issue with it because we're not gonna keep too much in here. You can remove those shelves if you have something a bit taller. And then again, the artwork on this closet is so nice. It's very like Japanese cherry blossom-esque and you've got the gold accents. To me, they feel a little bit more like coppery, um, but I've seen people say that they're gold before, so that's for you to decide. You've got your extra pillow blanket on the top. You've got all your hangers and the resort studios actually give you two robes, which is super fun. I'll definitely be trying those on later. And you've got lots of space with a luggage rack, luggage rack, sorry, and a broom in the back. And then again, you've got some storage space with the shelving and you've got your safe as well. Just on the inside, you also have a full length mirror. So if you need that, you just have to open the closet to access that. And then turning around, we've got the bathroom unit. So the bathroom unit has one of these sliding doors and then inside there's a sliding door to the shower and toilet area as well. That is one space, which I'm not a fan of, but we will make do this time. And then moving in, you have your Jack and Jill style sinks and you have this awesome, awesome, awesome backlighting on the mirror, hello. It makes the room really bright, really good for doing makeup, tweezing eyebrows, face paint, whatever it is that you're doing in here. We currently still have the H2O bottles and there's quite a collection of them, including the aloe cooling gel, some mouthwash, which I've actually never tried before, and conditioner, shampoo, and body lotion. I shouldn't be showing you too much of that because those will be gone probably um, by the time you might be visiting. And we've got a sea salt facial show, facial, facial soap just in the middle there. I really can't talk today. So next to the sinks on both sides, you have um, two electrical sockets. There's no USB plugs in here, so that's worth noting. And then you have one of these little super mirrors that I hate. Um, and just underneath the sink unit, you've got plenty of storage, um, but it's not drawer style. It is all open, open space under there, so you can pop stuff down there. You get four towels and four um, washcloths, as well as two hand towels. And then there's some more hanging up here. Those towels we actually just asked for extra, so they had no problem with that. And then lastly, if you move into your toilet and shower unit, um, the toilet is fairly standard. You've got extra toilet paper just on the back and you have a towel rack here as well as a towel rack next to the shower itself. And then the shower has all these gold details on it, which I actually really like. It is a shower tub and you do have a bit of a ledge. We've gotten so lucky because they've given us even more H2O stuff down here. So I'm loving that. Hopefully gonna take some home with me. Um, and you've got this like rainfall style shower. So it's not out of the ceiling, but it is a huge shower head and um, one of these detachable shower hoses as well. And of course your clothesline is up there if you need to hang some more stuff just across. So that is everything that is room 9432 at the Grand Floridian Big Pine Key Resort Studio Rooms. Whew, that was a mouthful. Um, 
if you manage to come, I'm loving, loving, loving this room. If you request the fourth floor, um, you'll get those pitched ceilings, which I am so in love with at this point. So definitely be sure to do that if you're wanting to see the pitched ceilings. I don't think that they have those on the floors below us. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed. If you're coming here anytime soon, I hope you have a great time. I love this resort so much. It's one of my very favorite places to stay. So I am getting ready to enjoy a very exciting trip. But until next time, if you have watched this video, thank you so, so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have stayed here before, pop it in the comments. Let me know what you think of the resort studio or of the DVC rooms in general at the Grand Floridian. And until next time, I will see you real soon. Thanks for watching.